We're going to do a Z offset. So uh, just home at first. Now there's resin in here. Make sure you've shaken up your resin before you use resin. Um, we're going to do a offset. So we'll get out of the Z move and we'll go down to Z offset. Um, it says build table. We'll move down to zero. Make sure nothing below the build table. Okay. Um, while it's doing that, actually, these should be loosened so that we can move that. Here it comes. Okay, so it's in the liquid. You'll see it's at negative 0 0.40. And uh, I can't really move that. Uh, it's not working so well. So um, we'll just go up a little bit. It's going to go up. 0 0.05 of a millimeter at a time. Well, that's a bit better. Not as tight. Might even go up another one. Until I can move it around a bit. There's got to be enough area underneath for it to actually um, stick. We'll just back out. There it goes. It's homing. We can tighten these off again. Of course, that needs to be tight before you start printing, otherwise it won't work at all. We can close that and just protect it from the UV light and get ready to print. So that's how to change your Z offset on the Flash Forge Hunter 3D printer. Thanks very much for watching.